Hi, I'm Tom from Analog Solutions presenting the new Fusebox Analog Synthesizer. Uh, here it is. Uh, full analog uh, monosynth, and we have three oscillators. It's a multi mode filter which has got low pass, high pass, notch, and band pass filters in there. Uh, an arpeggiator up here, uh, which you uh, control using a MIDI keyboard. Uh, we have two en envelopes. Uh, we over here we have well, basically master tune and modulation there. Uh, LFO with um, delay, so that when you, uh, you know, you press a key, the LFO comes in gradually. We have some uh, kind of uh, MIDI to see the out sockets here, things like um, you know, MIDI pitch, MIDI clock, controller 55, VCA, headphone amp. Uh, this is what I call the interval generator. It's like a transposer, so you can set up uh, six notes and kind of transpose whatever pattern is playing. Then here we have the patternator, which is a kind of cross between uh, a step sequencer and almost like an arpeggiator, kind of mixed together. So you have four CVs, four pitch controls, well, it's pitch or, you know, filter cutoff or whatever you patch it into. Uh, and then these two controls uh, tell it which uh, beats to turn on and off. So it's like eight gate steps. Uh, and using these uh, knobs here, you can decide which, which beats it will play. All right, then you've got like a uh, skip. So you can skip a note and reset it back to the beginning. Okay. Alright, um, the whole sim, uh, it will basically work without patch leads, but everything can be completely rewired. Um, yeah, effectively a semi-modular synthesizer. Um, this is the flat version, and over there we've got the upright version, which is the standard, standard way it ships, um, but you can flip the panel around and have it like this. Basically, it's kind of pre-wired, but the pre-wiring can be overridden because, for instance, the oscillators go to the mixer and they have their own level pots, but you can mute them by putting the switch into the center. So up, up is one waveform, down is the other, center is off. So you can completely isolate the oscillator and use it as a modulator. Okay, um, same with the envelopes. You can disconnect them from the, from the rest of the circuits. So, I've switched off the triggering now, so you have to use the jack socket. So you could patch the LFO in there or something. Um, yeah, so although there is pre patching, uh, it can be bypassed. And the price and release date for the big fuse? Um, roughly 9, 950 plus V80. Well, that's impressive. I was, yeah. I was expecting more. So uh, again, I'm still adding the numbers up. Sure. Uh, uh, maybe two or three months. Three months or three months two, away. two or three, yeah. Um, just working very hard, uh, doing what I can. Okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you. Bye bye.